Hey guys, I'm Shark back playing the new and improved buffed Velkos. They buffed his W damage and WQ or Q AP ratios and W initial ratios. Q AP ratio is up by 10%, W is up by 5, which actually does a lot when especially scaling towards that mid to late game. So, like usual, guys. And I'll be showing you how you can solo care every single one of your games playing it. So, like usual, guys, if you enjoy, find it helpful, make sure to smash the like, comment, subscribe. Those are the runes we took Arcane Comet, Nimbus Cloak, Transcendent Scorch, Magical Footwear, Biscuits. Those are the rune stats there. And in this matchup, we're playing against Twisted Fate. Pretty medium difficulty matchup. So, I mean, instead of Barrier, I could have taken TP if I really wanted to, but then. That'd leave me getting really prone to getting ganked. You know? Could have opted for the cleanse if I'm afraid of Twisted Fate's stun. I just opted for the barrier since it just negates a lot of burst that they may dish out. And uh, yeah, you the cleanse or barrier. Both can work. Even TP. I'm not afraid. Let's see if the sound is on, which it is. And Velkos, like every other mage, you played a farm and position. Oh, canceled an auto attack. And how you land your Q? You recast it twice, and typically they walk inwards. That's like the most common. So that's how you land that. I mean, I will shove against Twisted Fate. If it gives me the chance to. In this build, we're going for the double burn build. It's either that or Ludens for the magic penetration. Use the W there for the true damage proc. And we're just weaving his abilities and landing ours. That's how we're winning. Oh, we got phase rush. It's literally all we're doing. Pretty self-explanatory how you play mages. It's, of course, the execution, which is the hard part. And we're just dancing. Dodging his skill shots, landing ours. Let's see if we can land a Q into E. Ah. Oh, if I had landed the Q, it would have been close. He opted for ignite. Oh, we actually did land it. Huge. Huge! But my W was on cooldown, so I couldn't do anything there. Q. Oh! The minion. Fucked me over there. But, I think... Yep, Twisted Fate has to recall and then he loses a lot of minions. So small leads lead into bigger leads. We'll take that small lead. And then... I'll take 3 points W then max Q for the wave clear. We'll do that. Gonna base. Get amp. Refillable. Technically we could get dark seal but... That lost chapter spike is quite... Helpful. My recording. I am nice look at that fresh it doesn't look as good on camera but it's fresh it is fresh and right now we just want to poke the twisted fate down and set up a level six all in we have better wave clear than him as of right now oh see they always walk in was testing him you just want to kite out After you toss out your abilities, you kite out. Are you serious? Oh, I expected him. I should have just let it go through, yeah. Might have hit him directly. At least for the gank. I think. Wow. And being an mobile mage, that's what you gotta worry about. Is getting ganked by junglers, but if we ward and lean correctly, we should be fine. Yeah. He's just gonna queue from long range distances. We'll play it slow. Damn. Stood in like the perfect spot to dodge everything of mine. 
All right, there. Yeah, I just want to go for the all-in and get the dive off. So that way he loses minions and the wave bounces back. Yeah, it does. Especially when it's a cannon minion. Cannon minion wave. At least in Master, you want one for one, which isn't even bad. But, uh, Lucina Tom Kench strategy. It's actually pretty busted. Not gonna lie. Or it is on the stronger side of the spec, uh, the the scale of like best combos with Cena. There's, I know mages some sometimes work. That Tom Kench is, oh, I missed the cannon minus one. Signature bot lane pick. Use this gold card so we can look for the all in. And he has no flash. Shred him with two procs of our true damage. That is why you play Valkaz. Land all your abilities and you deal true damage amounts that's uncounterable. Actually, because you can't build MR against it. This is where our wave clear becomes really good. I'll actually stay. I mean, we can back and get Amplifying Tome, but... Use the W... Use the Q slow to land my EW. But I think Drag might be gone here. We know, oh, no. I knew Elise was bot side. Damn. That's actually... Uh, kind of well played, yeah. It's a good thing we took Nullifying Orb. <laughs> it's double AP. Their mid is AP. Oh, misses the cannon. That's all we wanted. Their mid is AP and jungle. So they actually can't burst us. And all I'm going to do is shove in base. See, I try to ward the bush, but at least showed at that exact timing. It's kind of unfortunate. And then if we wait 10 seconds, it's a guaranteed kill with my ulti. But we'll see if he stays in lane. Oh, least back mid. Damn, she flashed. Ah! It's close. I was limit testing. Oh! But I mean, I had a feeling. He was baiting us out. Well, Elise was going to gank. And I couldn't even place the ward in the bush because it's very likely that she was there from the start. It was for my shutdown. But I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. We got Twisted Fates R and we're up in CS. We just have to make sure we ward better. Like right, right now. Where we know Elise can't be waiting for us. In the bush, she's she's gonna gank us from. WQ. I'm not even gonna touch the wave. First step is warding topside. It's that way I know. She's gonna be top eventually for a red buff, so. It's like the whole hypothesis there of why I worded topside over bot. Damn. He got his stuff off and he has phase rush so he's gonna dodge my Q. Ah. Thought he'd walk inwards. Q. And outplayed. Holy. Jesus. I actually predicted the flash. Insane. <laughs> Velkaz. The most mathematically inclined champ in the game. Let me just push. Yeah. 
All right, Leandre's by. <sighs> Gonna go Shadow Flame second for the true damage. And I mean, this is basically every mage's power spike within the game. First item. Oh, it's just a fade hard bot. Unfortunate. That was actually a good play too. I mean, he's just playing towards his strengths. Which is roaming. While Valkos and every other mage like Syndra and Ori, they're good at team fighting. At least it's bot. Twisted Fate is there though. I'm gonna see if I can get a counter. Okay, Master, he gets the solo. Nice. And I mean, 1v1, within the lane, it should be over. So Safe should always lose. But the most ideal situation we want to look for is for us to group around drag. Since my R will come in pretty impactful there. E R. Q. Ah, oh, the Zonius. And just like that, he has the back of one ultimate. Oh, he used it bot. That's odd. It'd be more useful mid. <laughs> because it'd be for first tower. Q with Comet gets the kill. That's what I'm talking about. Literally, after Leandris, no laners can land against you. Unless you're playing against another control mage who wave clears. It's just over. We have no R, but I'm still going to path bot. See if I can maybe look for... Damn. Okay. Woo. That was too close. And we get the double. Get shit on. Oh, uh, you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. I think Elise Flash. Someone flashed. And uh, now we build towards Shadow Flame. It's literally we group, we win. How they win is for playing for picks. They got a, uh, yeah, at least Twisted Fate. That's a blue card. We could shred. Come on. Just like that. It's the Leandri's diff. If we had Ludens, we wouldn't get the solo kill there. And now this is where our AP ratios really do start to shine. From the bus, we got this patch. Q. Damn, nice dodge. But I think that Q actually got Master Yi the kill because she had to walk awkwardly. So, technically, we should have gotten an assist. Shred the gouge. Ah, oh, fun. I can't land anything. But I mean, my bot lane should be able to follow up on that. Right? Nope. Bummer. That was a good support, Rome.
Man, they're in sync. It's fine. It's fine. I can play 1v3 mid and still win. Can't trust any one of your brain dead teammates. Come on. You, from the start of the game, to not tilt, you have to expect them to just int. They don't know what they're doing. You have to 1v9. That's the type of mentality you got to have in this game. Otherwise, you'll just tilt. Trying to look for the E. But Twisted Fate, I think, has higher base movement speeds. Oh, yeah, he does. Without a doubt. And on top of that, he has Phase Rush. First, his first item, Zonius. That is the most insecure build I've ever seen in my life. That's fine. My barrier. Shoot! There we go. That's the Cena diff. Amazing ulti. But it's because we got vision control, we were able to get the Elise. We'd be dead without it. Since she would have gotten her E off. You have the angle. And just like that. It lands. The ge geometry. And I'm out of here. Oh. Cute. Ah, oh, should have detonated it early. It's literally the movement speed from Shred to Gouge. The movement speed. Can't land anything. I'll actually stay. Kind of greed, but we see at least bot, and the only person that can show us twi Twisted Fate. Okay. Maybe even Karma. But yeah, we should be fine. Twisted Fate, no R or Flash. And that's how you win 1v3. Good positioning, vision control, and landing your skill shots. That's what this champ can do. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, at this point, I can just go Rabadon's death cap. And because the AP ratio buffs, it should do even more damage. Look at this Aatrox. Let me get the shot down. Oh, it's not even for shot down. Why is Aatrox pushing so far? He should have shot down. No way. Looking for the Elise. Just like that. Leandri should be ticking. And we get another one. A solo. And as long as we position far back enough. Outplayed. And that's all because the Velkos boss we do this much damage. Gonna look for the Q. Damn. And then the Riven dies. Yeah, I'm a base. I need my R whenever I want to look for a play. My team does no damage, so I kind of need to have everything up. Just in case. And this is where we nuke the Trist. Oh, wow. What the fuck? Oh, man. Ah. That's just unfortunate. <laughs> I expected her to run backwards. 
She W'd into me. Like an animal. Oh. But that ended up outplaying me because my art completely missed. But it's fine. Because it's a mid diff, there's a bot diff. We're pushing their bottom in hip. Huge. Now if they take another tower. Oh yeah, I really do want that Rabadons. Gonna look for the Aatrox. I think Master Yi's probably gonna get it. Now I have enough for Needleless. Or I mean Death Cap. The the 437 AP. Nice. Now watch. The best way to play team fights. To carry, you camp a bush where there's no vision. Oh, wow. Okay, that was unexpected. Camp a bush where there's no vision and pop him. She's scripting. I think we still win this since I have barrier and noblifying orb. Master Yi, you're inting. Help me, please. That's how to win team fights 101. On any champ, pretty much. And all we gotta do is push in mid and top since bot inhib's gone. There's no objectives to take there. Tom Kench. Ah, just silly. Alright, Cena helps me take tower. Then after that, it's possible we look for the team fight. We'll see. We have three points into our ulti, which means it shreds. Q. EW. Q. And get ready for it. We stand at the side. Cute. Leandries? Damn. Oh, still got it. Yeah, we pop him. It's the double burn Valkos. Underrated pick. Flash WQ, E, and just like that, that should be the game. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. the new buffed Velkos. Let me buy my items real quick. Okay. Okay. I have to. Seriously? Right, at this point, we can go void. Rallies, I mean, it's okay. Oh, yeah, probably like. Because we already. You already get a slow from your ulti. You don't really need it. Not necessarily. It adds to the slow, which is nice, but. You don't really need it. Oh, well, one more team fight and then it's done.
The enemy's inhibitor is respawning soon. 